What's happening, sports fans? We welcome you back to another episode. Then the dramatic reveal, it's... It's our angry intern and the LCC <laughs> girls volleyball team. Thank you so much for being in with us. Uh, <laughs> I don't appreciate it. Uh, we'll leave it all in. It's it's all for fun here. Thank you guys so much for being with us. Um, let's real quick just get introductions. Can we go down the line? Name, grade, and position, please. Uh, just introduce yourselves to everybody. Hi, I'm Jaden Jager. I'm a freshman, and I play outside. Hi, I'm Eva Rohrbach. I am a junior and I play middle. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Feister. I'm a senior and I play outside right outside right side. Setter. Setter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Avery Tatum. I'm a senior and I play outside right side. Um, I'm Kaylin Jigger and I'm a senior and I play outside. You guys right now, uh, coach, I uh, apologize uh, for, for skipping over you. But I'm Rachel Morris and I'm the coach. What year is this for you? Four. Fourth year. Yeah. Okay, so you have now brought all of the freshmen through to their senior years. Yep, yes. Avery's had me for all four years. And how has it gone? Amazing. Yes? <laughs> Couldn't uh -huh. have asked for anything more? Uh-huh. Perfect. Um, so maybe a hint of sarcasm there. Don't know exactly what's going on there, but I'm sure we'll get to the, the bottom of it right now. Oh. Um, you guys come in at 10 and 6 is what I see online. Uh, how's the season going for, in, in your from your perspective? <laughs> uh season's going pretty well actually i decided to make this schedule for preseason really really difficult so we've already played four of like the top 10 teams in california um so yeah we're kind of finding our footing i think having the covid year last year with like no high school season what has been really difficult for our program in general um just kind of reestablishing the culture and getting back on the right foot has been kind of a challenge, but we're starting to find our way. And you guys didn't get any games in, or you guys got one. What did you guys get we in? We played in the spring? three. You played three in the spring. Yeah, um, we played Sage Creek, Tory, and Carlsbad. Carlsbad. Is Tory the Tory's the rival? I know it's like the school's rival, but it's the program yeah. rival for you guys. So the, yeah. you're like hell or high water. Like, who cares about this pandemic? We're getting our Tory Pines game in. Yeah, okay. and we nice. we took the W. We just have to. Say that one for sure. Yeah, um, yeah, and yes, you do. That not many teams get to. So yes, yeah, always is. worth getting to say that. But yeah, it's going well so far, and we're being challenged, so it's good. Do you guys enjoy playing the toughest and biggest opponents you can possibly get your hands on, or do you crave a uh, an easy win every now and then? I think it's definitely challenged, like our like lowest points on the team. So I think when we're being challenged by like big players, it kind of helps us when we're like in like normal season playing against some more average teams. I mean, when we play against Marymount, like that's not really an average team. They have some of the best hitters in the nation on that team. So it kind of challenges us and kind of gets us ready for our season. I will admit I not tall enough or athletic enough to have ever played volleyball <laughs> in my lifetime. So I come across as somewhat of an idiot on some of these things sometimes, but, uh, you know, using other sports as a metaphor, like sometimes when you go watch a baseball game, you can notice the difference in a pitcher. Like it sounds different. It looks different. Is it the same for an outside hit? Like those kills yeah. or like yeah. you get on the court and you're like, do you ever, you ever be like, damn, that girl is, you can hear it all over the, it, there's a noticeable gap. Yeah. And sure. that hurts more. Like you, do you ever have, like, do you ever reach a point where you're just like, I don't want this. Like I, I this, this girl is too crazy or. You just have to like move around your offense and just kind of adjust to what's going on. But I feel like that's kind of like what is easy. What, I mean, not easy, but like nice with our sport is like Rachel can look at us and be like, move in on her. And then like we're on her angle instead of her line, which kind of is an advantage to our sport. Um, but yeah. How second nature is the communication? Like do all you guys just, is it like just <laughs> sounds and like general looks or do you have to actually use full words still? uh when you're when you're out there on the court i think there's like certain abbreviations or like just like small things that we say where everybody just knows like automatically what it is that would be like your language that nobody outside of the volleyball yeah. world would ever understand yeah like what what would be an example of that donut 
Donut. <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. Great. What is donut? At the center of the court. <laughs> and then, but like, what does, when, when we hear donut, what does that imply? Like, just go for the center, like, that's where the ball's going, or like, help, help educate me. Um, uh, it's kind of like if you're hitting and like you're having a really hard time, like, putting the ball down, you can be like, I'll go to Caitlin and be like, your donut's open, which means like, in the center of the court, no one is like, everyone's going to collide into each other. And no one's really covering that court, yeah. like, spot of the court. I see you laughing behind the mask there when she <laughs> says the donut's open. Is it just a funny word, or is it her specifically that we're laughing no, at? No, I just. Uh, <laughs> I just think it's a funny word. <laughs> is it something that you like? Is that a common term across all of all? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah yes, it's not just yes. a specific. Um, let's let's we'll, we'll put this on the poll at SD Prep Insider. What is your favorite type of donut? Uh, do we have answers? What is favorite types of donut? I don't put people on the spot here, but uh, <laughs> excited for this one. You've been waiting um, your whole life to answer this, so please, the floor go. is yours. A glazed donut, <laughs> just like a standard glazed donut. All right. Yeah. I love the ramp up and enthusiasm for that. You have a career entertainment ahead of you. It's amazing. Uh, yeah. Other favorite donut? I'm not. Everyone else got to give us an answer. A maple donut. Okay. <laughs> cinnamon roll. Oh, we'll allow um, it. We'll, we'll put that on the poll as a cinnamon roll just donut. Just plain glaze. Um, a glaze donut. <laughs> Okay. I get the fa- I get the sense that you guys don't eat a lot of donuts necessarily. Uh, I might be asking the wrong crap. Uh, I like the sprinkle ones. Yeah, the chocolate Ooh. with sprinkles. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I like the like the rainbow sprinkles, the light yes. frosting. So you guys looking forward now um, at the rest of this schedule? It's all from what I see. I see it's all San Diego teams. Yes, so it's now closing in on league, and you get to more focus on here local teams kind of we actually go to durango this weekend so it's not on our max prep schedule just we don't have the schedule oh i mean yeah like i always have to take a stab in the dark nobody ever puts everything on here yeah Um, i'm like one of the few that kind of does this no it's a delightful max (laughs) preps page (laughs) uh, compared to some of what i see um Um, yeah we go to durango which is in las vegas and it's one of the top if not the top high school tournaments in the country so there's teams from kentucky that go to go there utah obviously nevada california Idaho, maybe Texas. Um, but yeah, it takes like all of the top teams. So probably. teams teams like that, you've never played them before. Maybe once in a, like you will play one player or something like that in a club something. But teams like Canyon Crest, you've played them a bunch. Mm-hmm. Do you, How do you prepare differently for a team that you've never seen before versus a team that you have seen a bunch of times? Um, for me, it's definitely a lot easier playing against teams that I do not know or I do not know any of the players. Really? Yeah, because, um, I don't know, just you don't have any expectations or you don't really know them, so they're kind of no one to you. I agree with that. It's a very, like, playing against teams that you don't know, it, like, helps a lot because it's volleyball is such a mental sport that, like, if you have ties of, like, oh, I've played, I play her all the time, like, I see her all the time, like, you kind of are, like, you're, like trying like, to play off their tendencies or you just, they're in your head emotions? Emotions, yeah. yeah. So playing... <laughs> That was me. <laughs> <laughs> playing <laughs> playing against teams that you don't know is definitely a lot better. But I feel like preparing, it's kind of just like, kind of just have to go in and expect a good fight and just play. Well, do, you, does, do volleyball teams, do you guys come up with like a specific game plan the way that a football team will be like, oh, we're going to shift our offense or our defense? That, that same stuff happens, but you guys have to, you guys are playing sometimes like three games a week, four games a week. How do you install that that quickly? <laughs> just, <laughs> I got this one. Um, so as coaches, we definitely watch a lot of film and we try to find serving targets is a huge one because if we can get a team out of system, it's really beneficial to our side of the floor. So um, you're finding the weak one to pick on. You're tr- finding the weak one to pick on and then you're looking for tendencies. So it's more like they like to run to their pins most of the time. So they want to set their outside or their right side more so than they set the middle or they set the middle, but they only run ones instead of threes. Like we can kind of pick up on tendencies and then we figure out what's going to be our best opportunity against a team. So it's more just like beginning of the game or before a game. This happened actually this weekend. Like I watched film on a team the night before, came in the morning of and was like, all right, they do this, this, and this. This is the person we're picking on. This is what we're blocking. And then they can just implement it kind of right away. So with a team of this caliber and we have a lot of really high level athletes on our team this year, it makes it a lot easier when you have a scouting report because I can literally just feed them something right before a game and they'll figure out how to do it. But I haven't always had that luxury. 
Are you guys back to having full stadiums, two thirds? Like, what, you guys have a crowd back this year? Yeah, we don't have uh, any limitations other than they have to be in masks. Very nice. And so I'm assuming the volleyball is much better played in front of people, and you're all very, very happy to have that. Yes. Yeah. Is there anything you guys miss about distance learning or any school? Like, like everybody hated that. Like, you're all over that, right? You're all happy to be back, or are you guys? Um. Well, for me, I did really well academically, so that definitely boosted my GPA. So it was a lot. I like so you take the free good study. grades. Yeah. yeah. So it was it was a good year, junior year. So anybody else, any missing of anything about overall? I feel like most kids are like, yeah, I'm ready to get back to school. Um, um maybe I be just back. miss like <laughs> like staying in my PJs <laughs> because that's the real thing is more sleep. Yeah. It's more sleep and more comfort. Yes. I just like woke up like two minutes before school. Yes, I'm and very jealous. Like, See, first of all, I, I was very jealous of that because I couldn't stand <laughs> people in general and sleep always sounded good. Um, you guys have San Marcos coming up tomorrow, yes, and then Del Norte. But, I mean, are you already looking ahead to Torrey Pines or what? San Marcos? San Marcos? Yeah. yeah, they're sure. good. Yes? yes? They've beaten Torrey and Cathedral. Do you guys do scoreboard watching a little bit like that during the regular season? Yeah. It, it, it's not just kind of a foregone conclusion where you, there's going to just be that group of like eight to 10 of us up at the top. No. All right. Sweet. Um, hey, I look, I ask cause I, I, I am ignorant of this sometimes and I come in with wild misconceptions. Um, what about the LCC? Cause that game at home, LCC Tory, uh, to close out your season, um, looks fantastic. Um, what is something to, you know, sell people on who might not have planned on coming to that game? Like what's cool about that game? Like, it's like everything is is more intense about that game yes mm -hmm. like think, every level yeah and i mean for us seniors we're really lucky so like we our senior night is also on that game which is really exciting because that also kind of brings in like our friends and then the additional rivalry will will kind of create like a ton of tension in the gym which would be really really fun yeah i mean tory pines is like an all school rivalry so everybody kind of knows about it is there some secret tradition that you guys do? You don't have to tell me what it is, but is there some secret Tory Pines ritual? Are you sacrificing a bird or something like that? Uh, <laughs> a falcon. Uh, a falcon. <laughs> catching a falcon with a donut and then and then killing it. Uh, is there is there, is there any Tory Pines specific ritual that the team does? Nothing extra that you guys will do hype on game day. Uh, who has control of the ox cord this year? Do you guys approve of her control of the ox cord? Does she have good taste in music? Is, why don't you say something? <laughs> yeah, Jaden, say something. Well, Kenzie, yeah, Kenzie and I made a, a playlist, but it doesn't really get played anymore. <laughs> it had some pretty good songs on it. It had, like, Eleanor Rigsby <laughs> by the Beatles <laughs> and a couple, like, Pretty Bella Little Liars Thorn. theme song. Yep. <laughs> pretty Little Liars theme song and, um, what else? Like just Genius by <laughs> Just terrible music that wasn't hype at all. And so the coaching staff kind of took over. The but I get the sense that there's a certain part of the team that enjoys this, yeah. though, oh, and yeah. that yeah. speaks to them. Hey, Jesse yeah. by Debbie Ryan. <laughs> yeah, like. That did play on our last game day. <laughs> That's yeah, why so we got it taken away. They can play. They can play it during practices, but during oh matches, God. we need, like, actual hype music. Like, we went to Marymount. And they were like, oh my gosh, this music is so good. Like, I'm so fired up. And I was like, yes, because it has a yes. beat to it. So. so there is a limit to the loosey-goosey, uh, <laughs> is, is what you're saying. Unfortunately. Um, <laughs> is there anything left to add to the playlist that has not made a debut yet this year? Mm -hmm. yeah. To be determined. TBD? Yeah, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, no. Come to well, it would be come to practice. I would assume because the games no, will pra practice is country. Practice no. 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 today. Today it was. There's no country today. There was no country. It was game day mix. It had wagon wheel. That's it. Because it's still. It doesn't really count. Yeah. 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 We'll put it on the poll. Does wagon wheel count as a whole playlist being country? But if it's the only. It's the one she was paying attention for. It's, it's, it's the one she was listening to. I do know that song. That's the one country song I do like. <laughs> for the seniors, I always like to ask, what is what do you guys want the legacy of the senior class to be? What what I mean, what are you still gunning for this year? Um, I think like for me, just kind of teaching like the younger kids, the juniors, and we have two freshmen on the team. Like, 
like what the team culture should be and what like what we want them to like accomplish in their senior years or their years to come um, playing high school volleyball. <laughs> um yeah I agree with that and it's like like our freshman year we had like strong seniors like leading us and stuff so I just kind of want to like give that to like the underclassmen and the people like taking over next year to like keep that legacy going as well um I think definitely just keeping like a good reputation and a good like a a good and comfortable area for like our juniors now to like kind of step in and be like okay well Kaylin taught me this and Mackenzie taught me this and kind of just creating a safe environment for our seniors that are coming up next year because that's really important because they are going to be the leaders of next season um so just creating a safe environment and a comfortable environment for where everyone feels comfortable does everyone else in this room feel safe and comfortable <laughs> in this environment because I feel like that was a key thing there um yeah. uh you got you got you guys have how many players between all three levels? Oh, God. Uh, like, a lot, right? Like, th it's a... No, we've got 16 on varsity. We've got 16 on varsity. We've got 16 on varsity, 10 on JV, and 13 on novice. So have numbers not entirely come back up to what average is? No, I think normal? we only had 24 kids try out for novice and JV total. So. Really? Yeah, our numbers were definitely lower this year than they have been in the past. And I know they're lower than other programs, too. Like, I know Torrey Pines had 60 or something kids try out, so. Well, then it's good that you have a freshman that has already made varsity. Um, we got two of them. We got yeah. two. I, well, obviously, one is the favorite child of the two. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 we do love Madison, but she's new. No, I'm just joking. Uh, okay, so you guys got San Marcos tomorrow, Del Norte, love and then Madison. the home stretch uh, of the season. Plus, you mentioned one other tournament going on, so we will have all of the information on their schedule, how you can follow it on Max Preps and get all the results. Plus, yeah, uh, October 22nd, that's the last game of the year. you got to go check that out against Torrey Pines. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and uh, congratulations on your senior season.